rock a bye baby on the treetop. When the time falls, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. Down come BB, cradle and all. <laughs> Is it a coincidence that the be- the babies are called BBs? Probably not. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to uh, Play It Forward on Monday, uh, April 12th. And uh, this is episode 9, I guess. This would be episode 10, but uh, last Friday we had the uh, PPR, so didn't have any uh, Play It Forward. But now uh, we are back and... uh, going to be doing some more uh, Death Stranding. And I'm trying to remember, if I recall, when we last left our hero, he was uh, working, we, we were working on um, connecting up uh, a place in like the mountains. And also I had just gone through a nasty terroristy type place that was quite quite well could have been quite unpleasant um but i largely avoided by driving really fast into a series of rocks <laughs> the rocks weren't part of the escape strategy it just kind of happened uh so let's without further idea let's get into it using vaporized blood to hit BTs with standardized ammo this is mama she I don't know if she was called that before she had a ghost baby, but she has a ghost baby. Uh, all right, going to Mountain Nod City. Did I already take a shower? Probably not. It's important to start every day off with a nice shower. Yeah. Why does the shower just have a switch for hot and cold? That doesn't seem like it has uh, enough flexibility. I guess maybe you can like set it to what you want your ideal temp. That like that would be cool. I bet there's a thing that does that. I bet some there's like some over-engineered like. Uh, shower system with like a mobile app where you set the temperature that you want it to be at. Um, let me thank uh, the 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 Hakofo the Hakofo for 54 months and John in wherever who says woo ghost baby. I feel like EX grenade number one. Yeah, I feel like if Sam uh, was the kind of a guy to pee in the shower, uh, then this whole uh, reloading system would get completely messed up. I think this is chapter five we're on now. Chapter four was very short. Chapter four was largely just um, fighting Mads Mikkelsen in a World War One trench for a reason that uh, has not been made totally clear yet. Always good to have a have a brewski to start the day off. 
That's how everyone starts the day, right? A couple of beers to build up your energy. We, it's true. We haven't actually seen Sam eat anything. As far as we know, he subsists entirely on energy drink and beer. Maybe that's why his blood is so toxic. <laughs> oh yeah, crypto crypto biotes. That's true. He does eat crypto biotes. Num 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 num. Probably didn't need to eat one right now. I think I'm at full health. But you know what? Don't. I feel like you you want to just eat it in one go. Don't don't yeah don't chew it too much. Di digesting. All right. I think that's it. Was there something I else else I was supposed to do while I was here? I don't think so. I've already customized my backpack. What do we got going on? Do, 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 do. Got some mail. Mysteries of the crater. <laughs> like, mysteries of the crater. There were some, and then you threw a nuke in it. Uh, Red Saint UK for 38 months. Thank you very much. Way, the way station patch up job, that stuff you brought us was what we needed. Cool. Thanks for saving our buddy. Cool. I probably did that. Uh, all right. Let's get this show on the road. We're gonna get a little Mads Mickelson interlude, a Mickelude. Drop the baby. Lord Stormageddon, you have served us well. Hey Sam, I have some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it's already it looks like suspicious. Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges One was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. I... And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire, to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. But now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. Is that bad? It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Isn't... Piecing together what little I could find, 
taking the technology from somebody else a good call? The death stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a boy down. Oh, poor Manhattan. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork. But I suspect the BP program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strong. Weirdly, weird ethical Still, concerns about on, using and in their fetuses to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age. I think they caused another. I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. So they got Sam. Until they got rid of all the research because they were. Sorry, to... my uh, headphones are a little quiet. Or something. One sec. One sec. That they so they invented the technology, were disgusted by it because it is ethically problematic, destroyed it. Then evil separatist people stole it, started using it, and then they stole it back from the evil separatist people, and are like, you know what? We're actually totally fine with using this now. Substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. Gross. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. Could There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery. Could this be related to the nuke I dropped in Tar Lake? <laughs> Maybe. All right, I've got two robots now. Oh yeah, deliver all that stuff. Wonder if this counts as like deliveries I have made for the purposes of like how many deliveries I've made in XP and so forth. Oof. This got real damaged. But you know what? That's what you get. This is a robot delivery. It doesn't have quite the same uh, Sam Bridges uh, extra t attention to detail. Look at all the bridge links I have. Those are good, right? <gasps> I'm a master transporter. Bridge link grade 50. Make more strand contracts, upgrade cooperation requests. I don't know what that means. Right. That's more stuff. I guess I could be doing that with like some of these, um, some of the uh, roads that I was building, I could like send out a cooperation request that would encourage people to build on that road. All right, what's going on here? Delip, ant whoa, what? Antimatter bomb delivery? Wait, what? 
is endangered being Is an antimatter bomb the solution to this problem? The bomb was not intended to be transported and is sensitive to impact and vibration. I thought... Alright. I guess I'll accept that. Uh, yeah, I don't need one of these. Uh, yeah, I'll keep with my current vehicle. Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance transport. Could, the could we get a new case? Keep the antimatter sequestered or delicate. Like a powerful impact, wait, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could we, fail. There's lots Any of abnormalities detected within the case. Should there's lots alarm. of cases here. Maybe if we could get a better off, case for it. Doing it wrong before we. And if the bomb <laughs> goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. The I, kind we can't come back from. Although to be fair, it won't really be your problem anymore, because, you know, you'll be carrying an antimatter bomb on your back. Yeah. Have we, uh, have we thought about maybe, you know, there's that, like, foam, the, like, pick foam, where there's, like, all the squares, and you, like, pick out the little pieces? Maybe we could get some of that. That would work well. Uh. All right, I'm going to, let's actually see if there's any cargo to deliver. The Lake Knot City. Oh, this one's gone through quite a series. The weather station. It's a bunch of metals. But I don't have my big. I don't, I'm not taking my big truck right now, so I don't want to take a ton of metals. Okay. I mean, I could make a big truck and everything, but I'm not. This is not truck territory. Till I, till I, uh, build a road, I guess. But. All right, let's go. Wonder what's considered a a big jolt, like going over a speed bump. All right, so there are road makers here. This one's actually almost done. Okay, I won't do it, but. Next time I'm in this area, there's looks like there's a bunch of roads and stuff I can make. Oops, I am totally going the wrong way. Good start. Good start. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Going in the right direction now. Mark avoid impact. Need to avoid uneven terrain. You mean like I'm on currently? It's fine. Hmm. 
Just out of curiosity. Oh, wow. Just going over those little bumps caused 7% damage. Oh, boy. This. Maybe I shouldn't draw it. Maybe I shouldn't go on the motorcycle. I don't know if walking is any safer. Then again, you would think rolling would like on a motorcycle would be a little like more stable than going up and down and up and down from walking. Plus there's uh, no chance of me actually like falling over. Looks like this is not deep. I am continuing to go the right way. In fact, let me make some markers here just so I know the general direction I'm trying to get to. It's like ladders and stuff around here. And there's zip lines too. At some point I may need to I may want to ditch my vehicle and just go by zip line. That area doesn't look very flat. Well, we'll see how it goes. Catching armor plates will protect you from gunfire. Oh, for really? Terrorist dudes? While I'm carrying this... Look, can we have like a temporary ceasefire, people? I am holding a scary antimatter bomb. Oh boy. <laughs> uh <laughs> Okay. So. What do I do here, though? This is interesting. I don't know if I can get through. I don't know if I can get through that, like, terrorist area at all. Like, if that was too much roughness, maybe I just have to, like, take it the long way around. Use the truck? Yeah, I think the truck also gets jostled and stuff. But yeah, we will just take, like, a scenic route. The floating carrier is an interesting idea. I wonder how... I never actually used that. I wonder if that... You go from like there, across, but no. Uh, I wonder if the floating carrier is like nice and stable. Tilting the map? Yeah, I mean, it helps a little bit, and you can see that that whole area there is not good. I feel like a boat would be great. That would be nice and smooth. All right, I'm going to try the floating carrier, partially just because I've never actually tried one.
And it seems like a floating carrier would be nice and smooth. We'll see. That means I have to walk, though, I guess. Um. Oh, I see. I'm, like, carrying it with me. But I just want to, like, activate it. Guess I'll carry it by hand. Uh, quick controls use. Anti-matter bomb, float onto carrier. It's smaller than I thought it would be. Also, it isn't floating. Is it attached carrier? Oh, I see that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh yeah. Scan. Sounds like it stays turn. nice and smooth. I can have two floating carriers. Yeah. Here. Here, Bommy. Let me just... Okay, cool. It hasn't been damaged at all. I mean, I would hope not. I guess I could put other stuff on the carrier just to make it easier for me to walk around. Like my bullet gun. Guess I'm not going to be fighting anybody at the moment. I feel like climbing like ladders and stuff isn't going to work very well with this. I'm probably not going to want to shoot stuff with my sticky gun. Again, this is probably not something that is good to sticky gun. Okay. Placing hand carry card. Okay. What is it? Oh, 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 oh. Think of how much stuff you could carry in this. Can I have one? I want one. No. But it has so much room for stuff. road here before and I just totally avoided it so if you've got a floating carrier but no cargo worth mentioning you might try hopping on it yourself <gasps> what you can just ride around on a floating carrier Ooh. So you get like two floating carriers and then ride one. That's cool. Oh man. Oh, you just to ride downhill. You can't like drive around on it. Again, sliding down a hill with an antimatter bomb, like probably not the best idea. Maybe I should have switched over to my power skeleton rather than my 
or my speed skeleton rather than my power skeleton. Oh well. How does going across water work with this? Does it does the floating carrier float? It does. Yay. I hope they don't mind that their bomb might be slightly damp. Yeah, right? Everybody knows hoverboards don't work on water. So that's why I asked about the floating carrier. As long as it's sunny, my, uh... my uh, legs recharge, right? Okay. So there's nasties in this area. I wish I knew what the sister sequence was to block the tracking pulse. It was like, you have to push it right at the right time. But there doesn't but they didn't give me any indication what the right time was. Like Was that it? Hey, enemy pig scanner negated. Okay. Good job me. Is it just sometime after it hits you have to ping? Oh, there's some dudes over there. Floaty thing, go into stealth mode. Float quieter. Oh right, this stuff doesn't hide you from guys in trucks. I remember that. Look at my map here. So I can do like a long, the long way around would be like over here, I guess. coming. Damn it. This is not going to work. Or maybe it will. Oh. All right. Looks like it gave him the slip. starting to regret my bright purple backpack. I feel like that might not be the best choice for my stealth mission. Of 
crap. Crap, they're coming. Oh, these coming. This is not a good spot. Damn it! Guys, don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! I have a bomb! <laughs> I have a bomb! Please don't shoot me! For all our sakes! Oh yeah, I think that worked. Maybe. Did the bomb get jostled by that? Oh man. This floating carrier thing is the best. I'm surprised and slightly disappointed even that they didn't actually like recommend me take it on this. It seems like they often recommend the right equipment. I sometimes ignore them, but Sonic Wolf for 84 you months. In yourself. I that was random. Azure Heights for 39 months. Thank you all very much. Okay. Hmm. Now are we still going roughly the right direction? Yeah, we're making a current turn now. Okay. Doing good, doing good question is whether I can get through this pass here or whether that's going to bring me back too close to the terrorist guy. Uh. I mean, if I didn't have this antimatter bomb, those guys would be in trouble. Should go up through this pass here. Uh, oh crap! Right, the other thing. Hopefully that. I mean, I guess that's messing up the bomb container. But that's not a huge problem. like where the big fatty is. Look, Sam spends a lot of time by himself. I feel like talking to himself is probably... Oh, the... Things are growing. That's nice.
definitely something near there. Although I can't see it yet. past that. Ooh, boy. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Oh, this is bad. There's so many of them. Hey, dead guys. Look, I'm carrying an antimatter bomb. Can we just, like, truce for. Just this once. You can be all weird and creepy to me next time I come through here, but just right now, things are kind of awkward. if I can upgrade my lung capacity like a snorkel that would be a good innovation boy oh, this is a nasty area you did kind of pick the hardest route. Well, I didn't know that. Yay! Whew. Let me just do a quick check. All right, bomb's still good. I have some container sprayed around here. I guess I could use some of that, but yeah, it's probably okay. We show, we're out of the rain now, anyway. Whew. All right. Well, that was scary.
I guess I could have gone, I don't know, around this way. I don't know, like, I said I took the hardest route. To be honest, I don't know what the easier route would have been. But I guess there's like more. I went with the truck and only blew up twice. You see, that doesn't seem better to me. I don't know, this might not actually be directly related to the tar crater that we threw the bomb into before. This might be unrelated tar explosion. I'm a little unclear as to how an antimatter bomb will help the situation. But, you know, mine is not to question. Uh, oh, maybe I should not have gone across. I gotta go. I should not have crossed the river there. Oh, this is not good. Wait, I have a ladder. I can probably ladder my way back across if I have to. Whoop. Oh, jeez. Wow. Alright, this floating thing is the best. Man. And now I know what to do anytime I need cargo that's absolutely not damaged. But this is getting awkward. I'm clearly on the wrong side of this river. I'm How about here? Sad. This looks like a good spot. Wait, what? Road construction area? Really? Well, there isn't a road here now. <sighs> Because there's going to be a road maybe sometime in the future. Okay. Steep slope detected. Yeah, that's, that's why I want to put a ladder there. There gonna be a road going through here. Usually the road areas are like a little bit flat. Looks like there is a way to walk across here. Alright. Let's this is probably a bad idea, but let's try it. You know what? I don't need any guff from you, Sam. How about here? Oh, construction area. That's annoying. Cross onto this rock and then climb over. So I can just
go through these shallows here. Damn it! This is just not a good situation I'm in here. I should have bought a boat. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Okay. Gotta figure out a better move. Gotta figure out a better move here. Come on, man. Still road construction area. Alright, hey, looks like I can go... Okay, here's what we're going to do. Phoebe isn't going to like this very much. But this is what we're going to have to do. There's like a little passage through the red nastiness there. Onto that rock. can go like this. Whew. Okay. Huh. Made it over there. Stupid road construction area. I had the ladders to do that way easier and everything. I'm just gonna like get into the loading area and be like ah, and fall back onto the bomb. Glad this isn't a timed section. Somebody used my road. Okay. Doing good. Oh, hey. Um. Is that a problem? I like the uh, snow-covered mountains. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. <sighs> Sam, Sam, he's our man. I'm gonna get here, and they're gonna be like, "No, we didn't order any antimatter bomb. Must have been some kids. <laughs> it's a prank antimatter bomb. Oh, damn those kids!" Take your damn bomb. Yeah. Uh, looks like they're not home. Well, we'll leave a sorry we missed you message. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation.
antimatter bomb. Yeah. I'm really incentivized to make less than 40% damage because then it explodes and kills everyone. This people would figure that bomb? out right now. We want no part of your chiral network or the UCA. Fine, I'll... Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. All right. right. Enough games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Hot City is telling you and the UCA... Fine. I'll just take my antimatter bomb and go home. Right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. Wait, the Death Stranding is a thing? Thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Oh. Oh. So now you do want something from us. That's right. I'm in charge. The name's locked. Alright, this is her sister. Hold up. I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Right. Why is he so surprised that there's somebody who looks like the person who you were sent to get her brother or by her sister? Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Do a bunch of Sam, random quests for her. Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Yeah. Former Bridges One. Went west with the others. We, we knew Second that. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lachna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lachna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that let them. Mm. I don't know how that's possible, Pre but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral I network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingan's accident. Lochna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal Taking... business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochna around. I'm not asking you, but because our plans you, to make America you, you should. whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, Couldn't, it, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Good work. From Aaron Hill, will you speak with Mama for? I mean, whew. All right, got rid of the bomb. Thing was stopping it from coming up. All right, I can't do anything here before. Can't even take on orders. So, what do we do with the bomb? Do I have to do anything with it, or they're just gonna be like, "Yeah, cool, bomb." Wait. 
hate that. Uh, well. Maybe if I leave, something will happen. Begin and scan. Have a pleasant journey. this mail the antimatter bomb stop the tower from should stop the tower from splitting thanks for that really save your bacon stop pictures anymore still calls the shots could you go and talk to mama about it oh check your private locker Okay, I'll go back to my private locker. I have to go all the way back to Mama? Oof. It's like all the way over on the other side and I can't fast travel because I can't get to my private room. Let's see what's in my private locker though. Maybe there's something fancy in here. Ooh, fancy boots, that's cool. Excellent impact resistance caused there any bumpy. Ooh. Put on footwear. And I'll put these on my boot clip. Uh, bullet gun I have. Climbing anchors. I mean, I guess I'll grab all this stuff. And then I will, I guess I'll put the um, carrier back and I don't know if I really want to be like lugging the carrier behind me throughout. I feel like that's going to make it harder to run around. Then again, having all this stuff on my back is also going to make it harder to work around. Oh. I can't actually go anywhere with this, eh? Just for sliding. And that's. I've got a ton of uh, mountain climbing equipment. And I gotta get to Mama's lab. Well, got a ton of mountain climbing equipment, and there's a ton of mountains. But I wish this was on the network so I could use the, you know, other things that people have left. But this could be fun. Kind of weather report we got going on here. Hmm. Uh, right. Before I continue this, I'm gonna take a quick commercial break. Then I'm gonna be back in a few minutes.
Hi, everyone. I saw some uh, skepticism about my plan to go over the mountains. But you see, I've got a path worked out here. There's this sort of what appears to be some kind of mountain pass going through here. So we'll, I'm going to try for that. And we'll see how it goes. I wonder if... Um, I wonder if cold weather affects Sam. Whether I need like a parka or something. Well, we'll find out. I do have... Four ladders and two climbing anchors. Have a pleasant journey. Has he been in the snow yet? No. I have not. I mean, I have personally, but I have not steered Sam through the snow yet. Where's the path that I set? Okay. Weapons restrictions lifted. Good mountaineering song. Wait, being in there didn't even charge up my... Ooh. This is not a good sign. Just a sec. Mountain Knot City didn't even charge up my legs. How does frozen time fall work, I wonder? Time fall snow. Will drastically accelerate the passage of time for anything just like ordinary time fall. Okay, so it's just the same. Is it worse? Okay. Do ghosts, I'm assuming ghosties still show up? That's interesting. Is that on the map? I feel like that might be a heavy ghosted place. All right. My biggest concern at the moment is running out of power in my l power legs. I didn't think about the idea that my legs wouldn't be charged. It's going to be a very long trip. Maybe this is a mistake. It's not too late to turn back. Hmm. Because none of this is on the network, there aren't going to be any charge places or anything along the way. Yeah.
If it stops snowing, like, yeah, do, do, does my stuff charge up just by itself if I'm not, if it's, uh, not overcast? Or is that only the bite? All right, you know what? I'm going to try it. I feel like things that give me health could be something to good thing to have. Wow. Cosplayer lost some stuff here. There we go. At least it's not snowing anymore. Got your custom marker of that. Okay. And don't worry. Uh, hey. There are guys down there. Hey! Hello. They're, these are friendly folks, right? Nice. These non friendly guys are orange. Hello. Oh. Keep on keeping on. Keep on, on. on. Offering me a bullet gun. To make grenades, mule boots. I don't think I need any of that stuff. But thanks. Hey, mine's hey, out here. If you had like, you know, snowshoes, I would take it. But you guys are great. doing on the all right r4 well r5 or a5 is really where i'm trying to get to all right basically just through here can do i feel like i shouldn't run not only for balance purposes but for uh my preserving the power in my power walker which doesn't seem to be going down like that fast i think maybe it's charging now as well although maybe not it isn't very bright out oh boy so i can maybe into rain again do i actually out of curiosity Do I... Do I have any PCCs? I mean, I have my floating carrier. So when I get to the other side... I don't have any PCCs though, okay. I have my floating carrier though. So when I get to the other side, I can toboggan down. That's what I'm waiting, That's that's what this whole thing is about. This is all going to be worth it. Get that sweet, fresh powder. Actually, since I am currently being snowed on, 
Yeah. Drink a monster. I don't know if it refills from the snow. Going okay. And I'm glad I got the uh I'm glad I got the better boots for better grip and stuff that probably is helping. All right, making good progress. You know what it's like be lost in a blizzard when you don't even know where you've been. You trade your soul just to hear a ship's whistle instead of the wail of the wind. I wonder, hopefully there aren't blizzards like white out. That would be unpleasant. Although I do have my electronic compass and stuff. In some ways, I might have been, might be better to be walking higher up, like on the rocks, and I wouldn't have to be walking such through such heavy snow. Then there'd be more climbing. The floaty bit there. Ooh, special allies. There we go. Ah, are we coming to? Are we getting to the top here? Is this a uh, supposed to be represent a real mountain range? We're in like sort of Central America, Central United States right now, right? So this wouldn't be like. This is the Rockies? No way. Really? We're not that far. I guess I can't see. We're not that far uh, west, are we? Oh, yeah. I guess the angle that the Rockies goes through, it's more central in the United States than it is in Canada. The Great Divide. That's what, it, that's what it sometimes called West Coast. The con because the the Rockies represent the, the continental divide uh in, for North America, right? So generally speaking, uh any river to the west of the Rockies drains into the Pacific Ocean. Whereas any river to the east of the Rockies drains into the Atlantic Ocean. This is kind of, this is... Kind of downhill, where am I?
Let's go! Oh, this is a bad idea. Or possibly amazing idea. Oh, this is great. I feel like this is going to turn bad at some point. But for the moment, this is great. I'm having fun. BB's having fun. Whoop. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, we stopped having fun. <laughs> that was a serious face plan. Look, BB, we've all learned something important today. Things that are fun uh, sometimes quickly stop becoming fun. See? Everything's okay. Okay. All right. Hey, look, the weather station's like right there. And once I get to the weather station, I'm back on the network and I can like, whoa. All right. Who said, who doubted me? I mean, I'm connected to the network, but I, once I get to the weather station, I can, like, make a car, I think. Or maybe I can't. No, I guess I can't, but... I mean, there's still a reasonable chance to... I should, I should put this on my back again. Yeah, I can't make cars here, I forgot. I mean, I can do other stuff, but... Actually, is there any point to me... ...actually going to this? I guess there's probably... There's a good path out from this thing, so I might as well start. And also, there's a charger. Although my charge is actually not doing too badly. I think overall, my charge actually went up over the course of that trek. So, yay for solar power. Didn't even need to use all that, um, all my ladders and stuff. All these ladders that I don't need. Yay me. I'm like, uh, Ernest Shackleton, traveling through the bitter winter, winter, winter the bitter winter. <sighs> Uta Balmer, Nunes, Bibet Noir, and Sikhanaus, thank you for subscribing, all of you. Okay. I mean, my bots could deliver some stuff too. Might as well. Oh, here we go. Ton of resins and cer ceramics to go to Lake Knot City. It'll get damaged, but that's fine. Do it! And I can take another one, too, because I have two robots, right? How about this one? Boom! This 
Did Shackleton die? No. Shackleton's voyage was actually, I mean, it wasn't successful as a voyage, but it was successful in the sense that, um, uh, in the sense of uh, people not dying. It sucked. They lost bits of them, but they didn't lose any full people. <laughs> Which is something, you know what? That is something, that is not nothing. Wait, oh, it's, they want me to build a safe house. Oh, that's kind of cool. Sure, I'll do that. Two, 2,400 special alloys. Are they going to give me? The stuff I need to do it? Okay, they are. Wait, 2,400 special alloys. I can't carry that on foot. I do have a floating carrier. Wonder how much a floating carrier can take. I'll accept it. Maybe I need a second floating carrier. You know what? I am going to make a second floating carrier. Did I make two floating carriers? Delivery PCC. Oh, I think I made two floating carriers by mistake. Can I? Sure. Order assigned. Hmm. Apparently floating carriers can take a ton. I don't need these other floating carriers. Uh, so maybe I should recycle them or put them somewhere. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to pick up these two and because I'm such an awesome guy I'm gonna put them in the share thing Do I have three extra floating carriers? How did I end up with... Why do I... Why did I have four floating carriers? Alright. I'm not somehow putting the carrier that's holding all my actual cargo in the float... in the thing, am I? All right, well, we'll see. Okay. Actually, are there any standard orders that I could be taking as well? Actually, no, I... I... Well... No way.
I am going to be going down to where? To Mama's place. I'll go for cosplayer. Wait, level three power skeleton. Do I have a level one power skeleton? Yeah. Uh, yoink. Guess I'll put my level one power skeleton. Back in the thing. any different. I don't think it's any thicker on the thighs. But now... Wait, okay, that didn't even... That didn't charge Find me. Find your way to the building site. Use your map and compass if you don't remember the way. I'll contact you with additional instructions once you get close. I feel like I probably can't supplying while dragging a thing. Yeah, the 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 game did say that the Floating carrier uses the chiral crystals, but I have a ton of chiral crystals, and I wonder what's my max carry now. I wonder. All right, you've made it. Let's get that safe house built. You good to go, Sam? First, equip your PCC and select safe house. Stop moving the mouse into the middle of the screen. Like the levels of technology that are shown in this game vary very wildly. Hold on, Sam. That's not the designated site. To complete this order, you need to build the safe house in the correct location. Use your map and compass to confirm you're where you need to be. This is it. Like the 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 technology represented in being able to build this safe house in comparison to most other technologies shown in the game, like for instance their car technology. Sam, you'll want to get those materials over to the safe house sooner rather than later. <laughs> Oh. 
I'm Sam! Uh, oh, it's not close enough. Come on, little fella. Come on over here. Hey, hey, hey. Sam, I am, I am Sam. And then a bunch of power crystals. Done. a lot of work to go to just to get a toilet, but you know what? Sometimes you really need to go. So if I had been carrying all that stuff... No, because it's not on the chiral network, so I wouldn't have been able... I was like, could I just have built a private room right by that base and then teleported, but no, because I don't, uh, it has, you have to be in an area that is within the network and that area isn't. Thank you, Sam. This safe house will be a boon to countless others in the long run. I'm not just talking about the porters who will use it as a stopover on the way to the weather station but the people they help, and the people they help. We're all, all connected to someone else, Sam. But you'll have the honor of being the first person to rest there. It's like, do we really need one like that close? Because there's places to sleep in the... Right. You will have the honor of christening the toilet. And having your blood taken. Ah, oh, now my battery's charged. Okay, so you have to rest in order to charge the battery. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. So I could just like straight up use the teleporter now and teleport directly to uh, Mama's place, right? Fast travel using um, fragile, fra fragile's travel. What does the chiral artist have to say? So we got we got an email from the from the junk dealer saying that marriage wasn't all it's cracked up to be. And now there's an email from his wife. Oh no. Well, that could have been worse. For instance, she could have been like, I want to leave this guy, but could you carry me? But hey, she made the trip by herself. That's like empowering, right? Good job, you. Uh, all right. Out of mostly just out of curiosity, I kind of want to actually do a fragile jump. A fragi fra jump. Fragi fragile jump. 
Oh, I see. These are all the different places. South Nod City is where I want to go, right? Yeah, because then... Because that's right near... Current cargo placed in this facility's private locker. Does that include my cargo is like not equipment, right? That's just stuff. That's just like cargo. Ready to take the plunge? Hey ho. So, the only things you can bring with you is yourself. And maybe a few other trinkets that are really important to you. Okay. Close your eyes. Picture your destination. I hope I can take Hold my it in your mind. Like mech lights and stuff. That would suck. Schlaboink. It's just like cargo as in stuff you have to deliver. You can't just take on a bunch of cargo and then teleport to the place where you have to deliver it. Which I guess makes sense. Oh, my, uh, my fancy level three legs, I can't actually manufacture more of at the moment. So if I lost those, I would actually be kind of sad or not lost them but if they're in that private locker I have to like go back to get it yeah I would have to be using level one or level two legs like some sort of peasant Oh, your robotic legs are only level one? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. How do you survive? Whew. I should, uh... All right. Now that I'm good and liquored up, I'm going to go tip the baby. <laughs> it's important to always be at least two beers in before you look at the baby. Hey, baby, what's up? What you doing? You come here often? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Jesus! Man. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten drunk before I tapped the baby. Been hitting the monster energy drink a little too hard. Oh. Got our a mickle scene. Oh, I've got a present for you, Lisa. <laughs> Santa. Oh. He would be the most. Now I really want. 
I really want him in like a some sort of you know heist film or or uh gangster film as playing a, playing a Santa Claus. Would you like me to open it? Would you like me to open this present for you? Oh, oh, what do we have here? What, what do we have here? A spaceman. What the? Gotta spaceman with a skull? A That's not cool. That won't be needing this anymore. I'm done not today. an appropriate present for a baby. You're all that matters to me now. So I'm gonna stay. I mean, if nothing hand. else, he can't get his little hand around the grip. My friend will know what to do with this one. Well, Merry Christmas. Ho 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 ho. Yeah. Merry Christmas. If you're at like a mall and the mall Santa has a revolver like anywhere on his person or in the presence eh, maybe that's not a good mall Santa to, to begin and scan scanning bridges ID verifying ID clear all weapons will remain locked until departure all clear welcome to Sam Porter Bridges all right I still have my I still have my leg thing. That's good anyway. But I lost, I don't have any stuff on my back anymore. All right. So that maybe wasn't a great idea, but anyway. Uh, all right, we got a couple trucks and stuff here. Sure. Wait, no, I don't need a truck. No, oops. I just remembered, I don't need a truck. I've got zip lines that go like all the way there. I mean, Bad Santa already is a movie with centering around the hilarity of Billy Bob Thornton as a small Santa. Ow! Have a pleasant journey. Oh, I will. I will have a pleasant journey. Time fall storms. Oh, this is a time fall storm. Wait. Zipline is out of zipline range? What does that mean? That's cool that you can drop off part way through. Yeah, sure hey buddy. Oh, and there's even a, oh. I could have jumped to this safe place if I had one or two, I guess. So, your sister's not big on this whole thing. Hey, Sam. Thanks for coming back. Got something for you. More handcuffs. These are your new Great. 
They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. Also, fancy no gold. weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. What the? I should explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those okay. cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void up. But just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. So I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT and it returns to the world of the dead. Nice. No BT, no void out. Win win. How does she do that? These things can cut them loose. If you can get close enough without them noticing, yes. Oh. Cord snipping super handcuffs. Right. You say that like it's a weird thing. Let's try them out. Cut the cord connecting us. But, but what? It, what? Oh. Oh. What? That was your thing. Oh. She's sound asleep. I made sure she got plenty of milk. Just do it. Please, Sam. Set us free. Are we gonna have to this change world your code never name? Hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it. Even though she's already lost. Truth is, she's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No. That part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was all right with it. I mean, <laughs> children, who needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lachna wanted a child, someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that, I could feel hers and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm. And I carried it to term. Wow. A healthy baby grew inside me. But then there was the attack. And our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her. But I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her. But I was wrong. I feel like I've stepped in a whole... Lachna needs to know. Bunch of stuff here. Kind of between her and her sister. You have to break some ties to forge others. Can't be tied to everything. If we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. So please, Sam. Is, is Sam the only one who can do this? Or is it just anybody with the deads? Hi, baby. What the? Who 
was that? Goodbye. I was baby. I hope you don't mind a walk. Oh no. I'm not gonna have to oh for the love Sam, of Really? Would you set me up? Are you gonna have to carry I her? Been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. You sir? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine. So long as I can see out of the bag. Gotta have a better way of. What about piggyback? How about piggyback ride? Touch of the wind. The scent of the world. Or like a little rickshaw or something. Or yeah, why don't we take the car? You can get into the passenger Lucky seat. You. The two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Can I put Let's her go. on the floaty thing? I think I'm gonna like grab a car and try to like drive all the way around. I don't really want to take her over the mountain pass again. Can I put her in a truck? Uh, Arco Monk for 54 months. Thank you. And now it's raining. Surprise prepped and everything. Oh. But it looks to me like your hands are full. Yeah, not a good time, buddy. No biggie. We can always tweak the rules a bit. Do a fight with her on my back? Kinda looks like a butthole. Run, eh? Where's those zip lines would be really handy for you right now? Go, go, go! And I have no equipment. Right. Right. This is a bad time to remember that I lost all my equipment. <laughs> Wasn't so bad. All right, 
So can I... Can I take her in a vehicle? I don't know if that's been established yet. Back here and grab a truck, I think. I think it's gonna be more interesting to drive all the way around the truck anyway. Even if it's quite a bit longer. No, no. Sorry. <laughs> Did I just like put her in my private locker and come back? later. Just sit tight in here. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Welcome to South Knox City. Party distribution center. Is that... Is that what they mean when they say somebody got, you know... This truck is still out here. Although, I think I actually want a different truck. I want long range level 2 truck. Yeah! Dagnar's truck. I might as well see what I can take on in terms of orders. Ooh, bot deliveries. Here we go. Look, if you want it delivered by bot, it's gonna be very damaged. But hey, it'll get there. Only 80% damaged. Sure, this large consignment of mostly junk. Go for it. Oh yeah. Maybe I'll just, yeah, maybe I can just, just put my mom on the delivery bot. I mean, 80% damage isn't that much, right? Are there any Orders to Mountain City, Mountain Knot. Mm. Time Hall Farm, Chiral Artist, Lake Knot, Distribution Center. No. I'm just gonna go, uh... Go ahead and... Pick up some stuff that I... Oops. Mama will be offloaded. Mama, load onto vehicle. Wait, I can't? 
Ah. You can help you load on the truck, but if you get into the truck, we'll turn it back. Okay. Alright. I do not wish to punch the vehicle. I wish to use the vehicle. So there is a passenger seat. She just... So she just sits in the passenger seat in her little... Snuggie. Uh, oh yeah. Finding materials to build roads is not a terrible idea. Like, couldn't you just sit in the passenger seat like a normal person? Uh, oh. They don't have that much stuff here. I've kind of, I kind of ran these people out of stuff with my building previously. Eh. I'll just leave it. Although, maybe there might be some stuff in the shared locker I can take. No. Okay. Here we go. Extended range. So I'm basically going to go. I mean, I wonder if there is a better. If there is a mountain pass across which I could go. I wonder how well this thing does in the snow. Probably not well. I think I'm going to have to do the long way around. Ugh. All right. Whoops! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. I was just like, oh hey, there's some metal. I should pick that up. Push the pickup button. <laughs> right, I'm in a vehicle. Right. Try that again. And she just teleported onto my back. Could I just get... Uh, where am I actually going? Couldn't Fragile just teleport her there? Like, sure, she can't teleport cargo, but what about a person? Just because she happens to be pretending to be cargo right now. Right, I remember this being a poor idea. <laughs> Oof. Nope, it's fine. It's fine. And now there are monsters. But if she got out of the bag, she wouldn't be cargo anymore. She would be, you know, a person. With hopes and dreams. Oh, hey! Hello, all Heather's friends. 
lunar lunar jadians oh boy okay the squad squad there, Sam. the hospital I was staying at was crushed by a bridge still have nightmares about it is that different from the still time you got crushed by before it all came tumbling down I've been scared to death of bridges ever since maybe and yeah I don't have my sound considering our employer yeah I was gonna say I'm scared of the dark too. Don't sleep anymore. Can't. That all sounds terrible. Let me just charge up here. We're taking her all the way around to uh, where her sister is. But unfortunately, there isn't a good way to do that. I could take her over the mountain pass, but I feel like that would be a bad idea. Until, I mean, I could put her in one of the floaty things, but I think I might have gotten somewhat lucky on that mountain pass trip in the sense that nothing horrible happened to me. I don't think it's a great idea to be doing that again with a fragile passenger. Also, Someone who's a scared scared of the dark maybe shouldn't zip themselves into a sack. Oh. We've established this. Mama is not fragile. Or no, fragile is not fragile. I don't actually know the fragility of Mama. Monster time. This is bad. It's like to try to sneak up on one and cut its thing in a doodle. Or I could just. Can't see my little sensor thing. I'll follow the path I took last time. Arissa Unohana, thank you for subscribing. All right, looks like we got through it, I think. Hmm. 
there a path up there? Sure there is. Will where there's a will there's a path. That's optimistic. Station north of Mount Nutsu. Is there a way through there, I wonder? No, it's probably a bad idea. Okay. So the next unpleasantness is going to be going through this terrorist area here. Cars in this, especially this this like big truck. I like it in terms of its, uh, you know, being able to carry a lot of stuff. But it just doesn't have that like, boom. Feels very like. Mm. Like it doesn't really have to grunt. Try to sort of skirt these guys. Or I could do what I did last time and just drive through. Sounds like a plan to me. Good thinking, Paul. I mean, I was in a motorcycle before. But a truck is bigger and better, right? Full speed! Today is a good day to die! It's a bad sign when the game is like, hey, here's how a shotgun works. It's like, oh good, thanks for telling me, game. Is there any particular reason why I need to know what a shotgun does? Oh no, no reason. Alright. Yeah, it wasn't too bad at all. Losers! Where am I now? And now there's another thing there, but I can probably short circuit through there. And there's going to be more nasty rain stuff. Oh dear. Wow, I didn't realize my, uh, all that burnt running and going through water really used up my battery. I 
good rest here. Charge up. And also repair. I don't know where it says how much damage this is taking. All right, Lord Stormageddon's still here. Good job, delivery bot. I can't put her into my private locker. Fine. Look, if she wants to make herself cargo, she's going to get treated like cargo. If she wants to be a person and ride like a person in the... Uh, in the front seat of the vehicle, I'm more than happy to let her do that. But if she wants to be a piece of cargo, then that's what she's going to get. But I have to rest in the private room in order to refill the... Uh, charge and fix stuff so I guess I'm gonna do that Your work is great. where does she go while I go to the so uh, I'm gonna have a nap um, you do whatever you want to do I guess Prepared. Nice. I spoke to my parents. I... Do, do we know each other? D didn't I just like deliver you a thing once? Like, no offense, but there's small and growing down the crater where Mill Knight used to be. Hmm. Like, no offense, but I'm not, you know, I'm just a delivery guy. Like, you don't have a... People don't have such like a personal relationship with their UPS person. Okay. Let's do this. We got another terrorist thing there. My vehicle's all repaired. So maybe I'll just Drive through it. Hope for the best. It seems like something I'd do. Wonder how. Yeah, it's probably not great walking ground there. But. Uh, NM robots for 16 months. I mean, you get to know. Like, a lot of people get to know their UPS guy. Or FedEx guy or whatever. Because they do a lot of or deliveries there. But I've l literally delivered once. I guess if I wanted to charge, I could have just gone to this place. But...
and also repaired my vehicle, which could be relevant as we are going into a terrorist spot where they're probably going to try to shoot me. Like dicks. Like these guys shoot me with are shooting me with guns. Isn't that a really bad, bad, bad idea? Are they just that angry? They don't care? Okay, they're not dead. It's fine. Wait, these aren't the same guys that blew up cities, are they? Isn't this a different group? These aren't the separatists. Yeah, these are these aren't mules, these are terrorists, but are they the same are the terrorists the same as the separatists? Well the good news is they're not chasing me anymore. The bad news is they're not chasing me anymore because it started to rain. Conjoined twins. One in the spring before we were born. But then they tried to separate us with surgery. Sorry, can we have this conversation later? Kind of have a thing. Oh, and I'm totally going the wrong way. a thing. I think I may have to hoof it from here. It's so close. I don't want to go all the way down and around. How do I tell when it's looking at me? If I want to do the grabby grab, if I want to do the uh, 
umbilical cut. Prompt for a sec. Can I cut the vertical cord over here? Wait, the BG gave me likes? You see that? BG gave me likes. Okay. Yeah, you see run like because he's up and free. Do they want to be cut off with the thing? It's like Silent Hill up in here. Yeah, also, how is the BT giving us likes? One, they're a ghost, and two, they're giving us likes after I have they've passed on to the next world. So it's like even less likely that they have access to whatever the method, whatever the system is. Oh yeah, okay, cool. You're used to give likes. Listen, then they tried to separate the surgery. Right, we're still having a deep moment. We were so long. We knew each other's thoughts without saying a word. Alright, so it's not just all twins that can... It's her joy. Your pain. That was my pain. And no distance was too great for us to overcome. Whoop, 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 whoop! <laughs> Some might call it a kind of... Don't worry, don't worry. Divided in body. Join in spirit. We had a beach just for us. And we shared our own private chiral network, you might say. I wonder if anybody's done like a build one that let everyone share what couples made. cosplay of this. I saw it all laid out before me after I signed up for bridges. A network that could unite everyone, no matter how scattered or different. It would make us whole. It wouldn't be about bringing people into line. It would be about bringing them into the fold, where they would share and share alike. I knew it could change the world. With Amelie's help, we finalized the Cupid design. But after the attack and the birth, everything changed. The first time in my life met. Lachna wasn't there. But I'm not alone anymore. I can feel her again. She's close. Wow. Your intuition is amazing. How could you possibly know? Sorry. 
Did you say you're a little worn out? From sitting here? Delivery of your sister. Mama delivery. Hey, uh, somebody ordered a sister here. Sister, hey. Look, uh, somebody's got a sign for the sister. What? What's wrong with her? Die, is she? I couldn't. You don't have to say any more. That'd be very annoying. Hotman, you need to fix his cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. Only you. I love you. Can you hear me? Forever. Was the kid keeping her alive too? And always. Now, make the world whole. Okay? Just like you make me. Incinerator, don't I? Sixteen <laughs> percent damage. Whoopsie. I didn't notice that. She's fine. Six sixteen percent damage, right? I mean that's like eighty-four percent fine. Lots of deliveries, lots of Yeah, the rolling jump out of the truck probably didn't help anything.
Look, I'm a legend. All that she went through. I had no idea. I thought... I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose. That she stole our child and ran. So did she know that cutting the umbilical on the baby would kill her as well? I fixed your cupid like she asked. Limiter should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Somebody took over I maintenance really of the culprit already. Repro. She died beneath the rubble with our child still inside her. Her car passed over to the other side, but her ha remained bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. Uh, That's why okay. she kept one cuff loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Okay, that makes more Shame sense. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me inside. Everyone safe. is a kaha. <laughs> all right. Weirdly enough, that actually makes more sense to me. Like, I, I like that better than, like, the um, cutting the umbilical cord killed her. But the idea that it was, like, both things. I mean, all this stuff that's gone on between her and her sister and blah, 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 doesn't change her original point that she was making, which was that she doesn't think it's safe to be on the chiral network. Stabilizer? That sounds good. I like stable things. Sis? I can hear you. We're whole again. We're, We're one. one. Wait, what? Like before in the womb, remember? You have a ghost thing that checks for ghosts? Akna. Sam is like, well, this is weird. Thanks to you, Edgenot City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna, your work will help ensure that the Cairo network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam, oh, there's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but... I like how skeptical the they are of that. With everything else that goes out. on. The munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World yep. War One, to be precise. Yep, yep, there it we go. It wasn't a dream. wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies... Maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I, I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. 
But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the chiral network. Anyway, he does love beaches. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet. Guys, just always making sandcastles. Alrighty. Well, we've uh, done some exciting traveling, various places, delivered people to other people. Cool stuff has happened, but I think we're going to have to call it for today because in actually just a few minutes, uh, we have the premiere of a brand new stream uh, hosted by uh, Corey. It's going to be uh, the Can't Draw Horses Club. Uh, if you've seen see uh, a few um, in the past sort of couple months, um, there's Corey has done a couple of uh, the sort of bonus art streams, and uh, uh, as you might surmise, those were uh, sort of tests to see. Um, how how uh, a stream like that would work and uh everybody seemed to enjoy it so uh yeah new show can't draw horses club uh and so that's going to be going on um just a few minutes and then tonight at uh five o'clock is going to be um a while the uh queer as hell uh campaign is over um, we're going to have a uh, sort of recap, or not recap, but uh, a Q&A um, chat with uh, the entire cast, uh, all the players, uh, and uh, Michelle, the DM, and uh, Kathleen, the producer, um, talking about um, series, stuff that uh, could have, what could have been extra extra bits and uh doing q a and all that kind of stuff so that's happening at five o'clock thanks everybody for watching uh and we will take up with uh sam porter bridges uh on wednesday at 10 a.m talk to all y'all later bye